All right, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Big Fry, and uh, I want to talk about New World. Uh, obviously, if you guys don't know what New World is, it's the new uh, upcoming MMORPG from Amazon Game Studios. Yes, for those who have been asking, this is the same Amazon that runs the storefront. They have a, a gaming department, and they're currently working on this new uh, MMORPG that is a little bit weird in terms of how they're marketing the game. I've done a couple of videos on it so far where we talked about basically what the game is, we broke down all that. You guys can find that video by clicking the card in the top right of your screen. The last video I did explained how basically they went from alpha where they had this kind of open PVP system with like bounties and this criminal system. So if you were like ganking lobies and you know killing everybody and, and fucking things up, you would eventually have a bounty on a server for you and they had all of these cool systems that the original alpha crowd really enjoyed and then they basically reverted all of those things and are now focused more on pve but at the same time in the same video kind of explaining that the pvp content isn't your you know dungeons and raids and stuff like that it's really we we we, do, <laughs> we don't really have a lot of information at this point. So we've been waiting for their next update, their dev diary, and uh, we're here. We've been waiting six weeks for this dev diary, and uh, we get a video today that's three minutes and 47 seconds long in which they kind of explain abs <laughs> absolutely nothing about this game. They're using a lot of buzz and marketing words, and obviously these dev diaries are put together as some sort of like marketing campaign for the game, but this one is very transparent in its lack of information. There's people on there saying, you know, when you first reach the world of Eternum, you're basically at ground zero. When you first arrive on Eternum, you're gonna be kind of at ground zero. Your ship has crashed. There's nobody around who's on your side. Pretty soon, you're gonna start to meet other players and you're gonna start to understand that life on Eternum is very much a band together or die alone situation. And then it cuts to another girl, another developer who's like, you know, in exploring this vast world, you realize that nothing really dies and no soul leaves the body. Players will quickly realize that Nothing ever really dies in this island. No soul can leave the body. It is the magical resource that grants the power of immortality, and it is called Azoth. What? What is this fucking game, dude? Because right now the alpha's under NDA. Nobody can talk about it. There's no updated gameplay. They showed maybe five seconds of gameplay in this at the very end when they're kind of teasing at their war mode, which to me looks like the mode from Elder Scrolls Online. These massive PvP battles fighting over territory, which I'm guessing that's what this game's going to be. But dude, like we waited six weeks for a video that basically just filmed a bunch of devs from the studio talking about the three factions that are that are warring. Uh, there's four factions total, like as NPCs in the world, you have the corrupted, you have what I, I think they're called the lost, which is basically like your ghouls or your undead. And then I think they called them the angry earth or something. Uh, they're like tree and nature folk. And then you have the ancients, which they basically just say something's happened to the ancients and, and nobody knows. Um, dude, super disappointed. I was definitely expecting like the, the game's coming out in May. There's a beta in April. So we have like two months of like build up to know what this game is to decide whether or not we're going to pre-order it to get the beta or not. And we're just not getting a lot of information. On top of that, on February 10th, we got an article. This is on the New World website called Making Your Mark on Eternum Settlements and Governance. And they kind of went through and discussed how settlements are going to work. And I'm going to go through it here because at least this is giving us some information on what this game actually has. So staking a claim and working together as a community is a critical step on the path to dominance in New World. Eternum is divided into a distinct territories, many of which have their own settlements and forts. So what is a settlement? 
Settlements are where players can live, congregate, craft, trade, work on town projects, and support their faction through faction missions. Death is not the end in Eternum, so settlements also serve as a respawn point for players unfortunate enough to have fatal mishaps on their adventures. Cool. How do you claim a settlement? During the early stages of the game, players must choose between one of three factions. More on them in a future developer blog. Now, I don't know if the factions are what we got today, or if those are just, I think those are just NPC factions. So there, there must be something else that we're getting in a future dev blog. I have no idea. Um, basically, once you choose a faction, you can create or join a company. And we kind of talked about this in, in one of my previous videos. A company is basically your guild. So when a company is created, it inherits the faction of that creator. Companies can gain and control the territory and the settlement or fort that it contains. So basically, a settlement is kind of like a guild hall but it's like a like a plot of land with housing and crafting and you know there's gonna be like forges and all of these things that you can do as a company so if the territory is uncontrolled this is as simple as paying the claim fee at the territory's fort so you basically just go up and buy it so then you have a fort a settlement is where players own homes, craft, refine items, trade, take faction missions, and socialize. And then the fort is the major point of defense for a territory. It is what comes under attack during war and invasion. So war is your PvP mode and invasion is PvE. I'm guessing that's where all of like the NPC monsters kind of come up. And I'm guessing it's going to be some sort of like wave survival and like a defense of your area. And it's where players need to go in order to claim an unclaimed territory. So then on top of all of this, and I, I'm not going to lie, I, I like the idea of having more things to do as your company to where you can build up and create this territory and this settlement for all of your company or your guild mates to kind of interact with and build up. I like that idea a lot. I just want to see how extensive and how expansive that can be. So on top of all of that, you have a governor. So the leader of the company is called a governor. So a company's governor is a person who created it. When a company takes control of a territory, the governor of that company also becomes the governor of the controlled territory obviously but what can you do as a governor honestly just just reading through this fucking blog just, it's like pulling teeth to try and get to the answer so ultimately the faction that a company belongs to is the ruler of the territory companies act as a proxy for the faction they are a part of as a governor your responsibility is to maintain control of your territory for your faction like yeah but what do you actually fucking do in the game New World, Amazon, this shouldn't be that difficult. It gets to it halfway through the second paragraph. You are also responsible for upgrading and maintaining the quality of life in your settlement by starting town projects that result in settlement upgrades when completed, but no explanation of what that is. Uh, dues in the form of territory upkeep must be paid to the faction your company is a part of. So basically, a governor can adjust taxes and fees in their settlement so that travelers and residents help to pay the upkeep as they craft, trade, and live in their houses. <sighs> okay. Honestly, man, like I'm, I'm excited because this is a new MMO. It's being made in the West. But God damn it, dude. This is painful to try and extract information from these people and they want us to pre-order the game to play the beta. This is brutal. The game visually looks stunning for an MMO. I, I love the look of it. The world itself looks crazy. The NPC factions, all the character models, it just looks really cool. But we still don't have raw gameplay that they're putting out. I can play the alpha right now. I have access to that alpha build the latest alpha build, but obviously it's under NDA. We can't talk about it. But the fact is, is we're two months from launch and we still, they, they just won't show us these gameplay loops. They won't show going into your Ford, setting the taxes, starting a town project. We don't know what it actually is. There's a picture here of a territory menu, and I'm gonna I'm just gonna put it on screen here. So the territory is Brightwood. It looks like the, the projects you can do here, upgrade village, improve lifestyle, upgrade fort. And then there's another screenshot of them doing town projects. So I can see here there's like a wolf slayer, uh kill 20 wolves and bring back 20 rawhide. So it's basically you're kind of doling out missions for your people. So this one, if you do Wolf Slayer and then there's Dangerous, kill 20 wolves, bring back 20 rawhide, and then there's Acquire 20 Silk, it looks like if you do all of those, upgrade Carpentry, 
goes off of that mission. So if you do three, like kill the corrupted, uh, find five chests in ancient temples, and then acquire 20 ores, you can then upgrade the gates to your territory. So it does look like there's a lot of things you can do. You're basically just doling out missions to your company to do to build up these territories. This is something that I want to get into, and I want to see how this works, man. Make a dev blog with gameplay. I don't need to see the people who are working on this game. Okay, if you want to just cut to them real quick, but at least... At least give us some goddamn gameplay so we know what we're talking about. I'm really trying to stay hyped. I'm excited because, like I said, a new MMO is coming. It's built in the West. It's not some bless online coming over from East and trying to adapt to our way. This is built in the West, and honestly, I'm trying to stay excited for it. But everything they're doing right now, it just feels so ass backwards. I'm trying to give you guys as much information as possible here. There is blogs on their website, and then... There, there's developer diaries that don't really tell us anything. I'm just trying to piece all of this stuff together to find out what this game actually is. Let me know what you guys think down below. I know there's a lot of people that are commenting on these dev blogs saying like, we waited six weeks for a three minute video that showed us nothing. Like this is very weird. I know they're trying to market the game, but I feel like a game like this with so many, as far as I know, so many different systems in place, it would be good to really see the visual of all of these things come together. But with that, guys, this was the new dev blog. I was hoping that it was going to give us more information, but at the end of the day, it is what it is. I'm going to be keeping up with this game, and I'm going to be bringing you guys as much information as possible. I am going to be starting a company for this game, so we are going to be having a guild. I'm going to be streaming this game over on Twitch, and... Uh... <laughs> That's the video, man. Uh, <laughs> I don't even know what to say, dude. If you guys do enjoy the videos, dude, I appreciate you guys so much for watching. Leave a like on it if you do. And if you're not subscribed, maybe consider doing so. And if you guys want to support the channel, consider becoming a member for only 99 cents a month. That button is down below as well. Thank you guys for watching. My name is Big Fry, and I'll see you on the next one.